Hello, Friartown, and welcome to another episode of the PC TV Show. I'm Matthew. And I'm Emily. Buckle up tight, because we have a stellar batch of segments headed to you this week. That's right, Matt. Up next, we have some local restaurants in our new segment. Ooh, sounds delicious. Let's have a taste right now. Hi, I'm Caitlin Sudlick for PC TV News. Welcome to our first installment of A Friar Life. In this episode, we take a look at various off-campus eateries that will be sure to please any student. First up, LaSalle Bakery. Hi everyone, this is Kate Sullivan for PCTV News. We're here at LaSalle Bakery on Admiral Street to learn more about one of the most popular bakeries off campus at Providence College. This is a great place for students to come. Um, it's a very inviting atmosphere. We have a complete selection, as you can see behind me, of all kinds of pastries. We've got calzones, sandwiches, um, teas, chais, coffees. Um, we also do specialty cake orders. We've got birthday cakes, um, parfait salads. Um, but it's also a lot of students come here in between classes or after classes. Um, so it's, it's, very, it's very inviting for that. Um, right now, with uh, the fall season just starting, we now have pumpkin cheesecakes. We have caramel apple danish, pumpkin danish, uh, pumpkin chais, pumpkin pies. With uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas around the corner, you'll start seeing some uh, Christmas cookie trays, some Christmas pastries. Um, so it's going to be a very busy time around the bakery. They just redid all the tables and chairs outside. We only had maybe, I would say, four or five tables and chairs out there, and they just redid the whole front. Hi, this is Melissa Bryan for PCTV News, and we're here at Paragon, a restaurant on Thayer Street that's great for PC students to come to whenever their parents visit for a nice lunch or dinner. Or you could even come with your friends for a good day out. Now let's take a step inside and see what Paragon is all about. Hi, my name is Molly, and I just wanted to say that I think that Paragon Viva is a great place for the students. Not only is it on the Brown campus, but we cater to you as far as the menu is concerned. It's reasonably priced, and it's a great location. Hi, I'm Tiana Johnson from PCTV. Right now, I'm standing in front of the Abbey, also known as the Classic College Sports Bar. This is located on Admiral Street and is most famous for their burgers and beers. Let's take a look inside. Now I'm inside the Abbey looking at the Abbey Premium Burger menu, where there's many burgers to choose from along with recommendations of beer to go with them. And if you're not interested in a selection of burgers, we also have another menu that consists of salads, pastas, and nachos. Thanks for joining us on our food tour of Providence. Make sure to look out for our next installment of A Friar Life. This has been Caitlin Sudlick for PCTV News. Have a good day. Mmm. That was delicious and well worth the trip to Thayer Street. It's always worth the trip to Thayer Street. And you know why? It's because I hear Emma Watson likes to hang out over there. Ooh, 10 points for Gryffindor. And speaking of keeping score, let's check in with our sports department about Friar Athletics right now. Pardon the interruption, I'm Umar Malik. And I'm Angela Marciano. Welcome to Providence College Interrupted. So Umar, this past weekend, Providence College men's basketball team were successful in defeating Boston College Eagles. What really stood out to you from that game? Um, I really liked the resiliency on the boards at the Friars show. They out-rebounded the Eagles 36-20, to 20, and with the extra possessions that they created with those rebounds, uh, they were able to pull out the victory in the end. Mm, I agree with that, but I also think that I really like the contributions that we got from the role players. We had two suspensions coming to this game with Brandon Austin and Ronnie Bullock, along with the injury to Chris Dunn. Mm -hmm. But you saw players such as LaDante Hinton and Josh Fortune really step up for the Friars. And on top of that, you have one of the best players in the Big East in Bryce Cotton do absolutely everything in a position that he wasn't really familiar with in the point guard. So the Friars did everything that they had to do this past weekend to defeat the Eagles. Um, so obviously it's clear that Bryce Cotton and Kadeem Batts are the leaders of this team. Which role players do you think uh, have to step up uh, to keep our momentum going this season? I think you have to look at the two newcomers that Ed Cooley brought in last year. They had to sit out last year, and that is Tyler Harris and Carson DeFrosiers. 
Carson's obviously the tallest player on this team, seven mm -hmm. foot shot, uh, seven foot shot blocker, and he has to be a big body down there. He has got to you know rebound, and on the other side, Tyler Harris, he's got to be one of our lockdown defenders. When we go into Big East play, you're going to see really good talent in uh, uh, McDermott at a Creighton, mm -hmm. and someone's going to have to lock him down. What do you think? Um, along with those, those are good, and I also think uh, Josh Fortune, um, especially with Chris Dunn out of the lineup for now with his uh, shoulder injury. That, uh, that means that Cotton can't make as many uh, spot-up threes as he usually does in our offense. Mm -hmm. So that means Fortune has to pick up the slack and hit those threes when he's open. What do you think about these upcoming games, the non-conference schedule, and then looking forward to the upcoming season? I think uh, the non-conference schedule coming up will be a good way to test out uh, our roster and team chemistry, mm -hmm. and um, hopefully it'll result in positive play and then be a good indicator of our success in the Big East mm -hmm. season we once it starts. We don't really play that you know, strong of a talent, these upcoming games. We play Brown, Marist. You know, teams that are not really known for their basketball. But then we play the University of Kentucky at the Barclays Center on December 1st. That's going to be a great test for the Friars. And then we'll get ahead into Big East play, where the Big East, uh, the Friars are picked to finish eighth in the Big East, or sixth, I'm sorry. And let's see how much, you know, that we can prove people wrong. I think that this team has a good shot this year. Uh, the Big East is still rebuilding, but it's going to be a tough season. But I think we're going to come out on top. I think we just read a poll the other day that the Friars are looking to make the tournament this year mm -hmm. for the first time since 04. And it should be uh, pretty exciting here in Friartown. Yep. Thank you for tuning in this week. We'll see you next week. Go Friars. Wow, I am all friared up right now. Yeah, what a great weekend for Providence Athletics. <laughs> I must confess, I didn't actually make it to the dunk for the game. Well, that's all right. You know what I love about our sports? W what's that? Seeing the players on the Jumbotron. Oh, yeah. Hey, speaking of the big screen, did I hear that you had a piece this week? Well, actually, yes. Uh, it's called LGBT Consider PC. And if you want, we'll take a look right now. Hey there, prospective student. Are you a lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, or allied person who's hesitant to apply to Providence College because of the way we've been represented in the news recently? Are you worried you wouldn't enjoy it here, or, more importantly, that you wouldn't be safe? Well, hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm a gay student at Providence College. I'm also the publicity chair of a group called Shepherd. What is Shepherd? Well, it's a decades-old LGBT education and support group on campus that makes Friartown a more inclusive place to be. We've made leaps and bounds in the past 10 years, and things are getting better all of the time. There is one thing we currently lack, though, and that's you. Yes, you. Our community is only as strong as its numbers. We want to make sure you know that Providence College can be your home, too. But don't just take my word for it. Check out these testimonies from faculty, students, and staff members to the quality of our campus climate. Hi, my name is Alina Yi. I'm the Director of Student Multicultural Activities, and I'm also the advisor for Shepherd. And frankly, for me, the reason why I came to PC is because of their commitment to care and support for students who are LGBTQQ. Hi, my name is Lorna Laughlin, and I'm a senior here at PC. And my name is Sharon Longo, and I'm also a senior here at PC. So we just wanted to let you guys know that there's a great community here at PC. And you could be a fire in Firetown too. Hi, my name is Nick Wallace. I'm a senior here at PC. I'm the Vice President of Student Congress, and I consider myself a strong ally to the LGBT community. Hi, my name is Carrie, and I'm a senior at Providence College. I am an ally because my religion teaches me to love my God with all my heart and to love my neighbor as myself. Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm a senior here at PC. I just want you prospective students to know that there's a really special community here for you. Don't let everything that you've seen in the news lately deter you from coming here. We really are a community here at PC, no matter what your background is, where you're from, or who you are. If you are a member of the LGBTQ community and you are looking into Providence College, I'd say definitely consider it. I grew up around New York City, so for me, I was kind of used to this whole like melting pot idea. I'm the complete opposite. I come from a small country town with cows and um, people are very strict about their views and they view things one way and that's it. So coming to PC, I came with an open mind, um, willing to learn about different things and now I'm a part of Shepherd and I enjoy every moment of it and I consider myself an ally and I would definitely consider coming to PC because there's 
not enough of you, and I would love to see so much more of you. And um, Of everyone. Uh, well, yeah, actually, of everyone. One thing that I hope to get across, or I hope comes across in this video, is that PC needs you. And eventually, I think you grow to need PC. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Chris. And we're both members of Congress. And we're both allies. And we love it here at PC. And we want you to be a part of this community. LGBT, consider PC. 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 So, what do you think? Is PC your number one next fall? It was for me. LGBT, consider PC. Great job, Matt. Well, that's all the PC TV magic we have for you today. We do hope you'll join us next time. Goodbye, Friars. <laughs> Goodbye.